Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a good boss Linux in your system. So let's get started. So before going to install boss Linux, let me show you what is boss is about. I'm going to their official website bosslinux.in. So Boss Linux is an Indian or GNU or Linux distribution developed by CDAC Pune. You can see here it has robust functions and it can support different Indian languages also. This Linux operating system is provided most of the government laptops also. The latest version of the BOSS Linux is BOSS 6 and we are going to install BOSS 6. I have the installation CD of this operating system so I will install from the CD. So we don't need to download now. It has some functions like source from desktop, LibreOffice which is equivalent with Microsoft Office, all in one control panel, input method of different languages and much more applications. So without getting late, let's get started. I'm installing this Boss Linux in my another PC which has Windows 7 and I will dual boot it. So first we need to set up where we should install the Boss Linux. So right click on the computer then click on manage. Then select storage and go to disk management. Here it will show all the partitions in our hard disk. I have already created a free space from the partition. If you don't have any create any free space, then you can create by right clicking any of the partition and then select shrink volume. Select amount of data you want to shrink, then it will create a free space. Then let's go for installation. guys you can see this is the di installation disk of the boss Linux. before we install it we have to change some settings in the bios menu so go to your bios menu according to your motherboard settings then go to the system configurations as your setups in, in my case this is my bios options are in advanced setup here i have to give the first boot priority to my disk drive because i am installing this media from my cd drive So it will run automatically and here is the menu to install boss linux there are a lot of options but we have to choose graphical install enter enter the graphical install and wait it will boot up and the installation process will come up now select the language english continue then select your country continue then select the keyboard you want to use
as my PC is not connected to any of the network so this option held don't worry about it so now set any host name to your PC anything you want here in case I am just inserting my name now add the username to your PC and username for your account the first letter must not be a capital letter now set password for your system now it will show where to install the boss linux in our hard disk so click on manual then continue then select the free space free space partition then create a new partition then select the amount of space you want to delete and create a new partition uh, here in case I am selecting 100 GB and select from beginning and it, it will the root system that means the Linux will be installed here Every, the root file of the system should be selected and the users external for journaling system now click done setting of the partition now the space space becomes 17 GB now we will create another partition for boot sector then click on create a new partition it should be less than 2 GB so I am taking 2 GB here so its mount point should be boot the static file of the boot loader will be installed now select the setting of the partition now we will get another partition for swap area swap area is most needed if we not create a partition for swap area then there will be post errors while booting up our system so create a new partition it should be greater than 6 GB or less than 4 GB sorry it should be greater than 4 GB so I am selecting 6 GB here now use as, as swap area and continue then done setting of the partition we have to remember this hashtag numbers this will be useful when we set the grub loader to boot to dual boot either win, to windows or to linux so we need the number 8 so after clicking continue it shows the confirmation whatever changes you have made do you want to continue if you don't see sure, then click yes and check again sorry if no click no then check again Now after confirming, finish partitioning, then continue, then select yes, then continue. Now it will install Boss Linux in our system. It will take some time according to your processor speed. Now the installation is complete and it will install the grub loader. sometime before I told you to remember the number of the boot sector the boot partition it was number 8 so we are we will enter it manually so here it shows how to write the manually so we write dev forward slash sda and 8 and continue
here the installation is completed and the CD-ROM will be ejected automatically. And if you are installing through your USB, after showing this, remove your USB drive. Again, it stops. So you can see the windows is starting the installation is not completely completed so we have to install drop loader by using bcd loader in windows So now you can see here the BCD setup and after installing it the application will show which one is below down the setup. Now double click it and open it. So here the menu comes up. Here it is showing that there are two boot options. I have because I have already added the grub loader to it. So in order to add, click the add new entry, then select the Linux, then type which type of grub. It should be grub2. Bus Linux supports grub2. Then give a name to the I have given name boss linux and drive select automatically loads and drive then select add entry then thus it will save the options and now restart your pc
so guys i thought you would enjoy the video if you find any kind of problems then don't forget to mention it in the comment box and don't forget to like it subscribe my channel and share this with your friends stay tuned for more updates on windows and linux thank you